Okay, I think we're set to go. Uh, so uh, take your seats. Make sure that your weights are under the chair, purse strap secured, water bottle secured. And uh, before we begin our strength and balance class, I want to remind each and every one of you to drink water. Do not get dehydrated. Very easy to do. Uh, we don't have the same sense of thirst that we once did, and so you just kind of have to drink all the time. A uh, blood test will show whether you're dehydrated or not. So if you do get a blood test, ask them about that, because uh, sometimes they don't inform you. So, all right, we are ready to start. See if that is any better. Okay, there we go. Now you can see my feet. Alright, so let's pick up our weights. Remember to work with one to three pounds. Um, we're going to do a lot of reps. So uh, it's best to do a lighter weight with a lot of reps. But it's up to you, but no more than three pounds. Hands down, we're gonna start with hammer curls today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're going to alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Palms facing down, weights on either side of the body, to the shoulder and down. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're going to lift, slip, pull in, and down. Two, slip, pull, and down. Three, four. Seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. Okay, there was a lot of muscle load in those sets. Roll the shoulders. And we're going to bring the shoulders forward, bring the head to the chest. Feel the stretch behind the back, and sit up. All right, bicep curls to the side. Now this is where you don't want to get one of these death grips. Just hold it lightly. Bring it in and stretch. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other arm to the side. Squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Both arms and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, so now we're going to work top of arm and shoulder. So we put the hand facing down, elbow is up, take it out to the side and in. Two, three, four. Nine, ten. 
See, I'm seeing this, okay? Don't do that. Lower those shoulders. All right, now, feet apart. We're going to bend forward, 90 degree angle, and one forward, one back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, feet slightly more in than they were. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Lean forward and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have a seat. Weights facing each other, elbows up. We lift the elbows, bring the elbows together. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> ten. Okay. Now we're going to polish the table. So we start center and circle. Two, three, four. Lift. Polish the window. One, two, three, four. Polish. One, two, three, four. Lift. One, two, three, four. Polish. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last set on this side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And just let that arm hang loose. All right, other side. Polish. One. Two, three, four, lift and one, two, three, four, polish, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and relax. All right, let's switch down to the legs now. So we're going to stack both weights onto one thigh, and we're going to go up three, down three. One, two, Three, stretch, and down. Two, two, three, stretch, and down. Three, stretch, and down. Four, stretch.
stretch. Five. Six. Hang in there. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. I know that's tough. All right. Weights over to the other thigh. And you know, if that's too much for you to do three lifts, just do one stretch in and down. You can do that. You don't have to do the three lifts. Ready? And one, two, three. Stretch and down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Exhale. Four. Exhale. 
exhale. to move a little bit now with the weights from a standing position. So we're going to stand and we're going to walk and down. Two, three, four. Now hold it here and five, six, seven, Eight. All right, feet together. Let's go to the other side. One and down. Other arm. Two and down. Three. I know it's kind of a brain teaser because you're going sideways and lifting front. Legs apart. One. Two. Three. Four. Feet together. Here we go again. One, two, three, four. Feet apart. And this time, lift and down. Two, press that booty to the back wall. Three and four. Feet together. Other side. One, two, Three, four, feet apart, and this time down and up. Two, and three, and four. Very good. We got some brain work in on that one also. <laughs> okay, so we're going to place the weights now to the side, and we will start our segment on balance. Lift, 
pull in and one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Okay, let's start out. I'll demo the modification and then we'll go to three sets on this leg. So here's your modification. Toe is here. We pull in, stand up straight, arm out, and one, two, three, four, five. Again, let's do the modification again. And one, two, three, four, five. All right, now we lift. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And back to center. Lift and one, two, three, four, five. Back to center. One more time. Lift one, two, three, four, five, and down. All right. Come to the other side. Now let's start out with the modification. We're going to walk placing the heel against the toe. So you can just put a couple of fingers on the chair or if your balance is secure, then you can eliminate using the hands on the chair. Ready, modification, fingertips on the top of the chair, heel to toe, shift the weight forward, heel to toe, shift the weight forward, heel to toe, shift forward, Heel to toe, and we're going to go to the back. Toe to heel, shift 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 back. We are all pretty much off this morning. That's because of that low barometric pressure out there. <laughs> I'm telling you, it does have an effect on balance, and I can tell when it's nice and sunny out, we're just right on. Uh, we're having a little bit of trouble today. All right, hang on to that chair again. Um, those of you that want to try it without, I will demo it without, but the rest of you at least keep that fingertip on the chair. Start back from the chair so that you can walk forward with it. All right, I'm going to demo without. You keep your hand on the chair. Those that want to try it, arms out like tightrope. Heel to toe, shift forward. 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 Um, you want to come with the champion shirt. You want to come to the side of the chair you're standing behind it so you can't move your legs. So you want to start here and then walk because you can't do that if you're halfway between here, your legs gonna bang into the chair. So come directly to the side of the chair. All right, hang on if you need to, otherwise, arms out. Again, tightrope style. Now remember, you've got to shift that weight because if you don't shift the weight, you're gonna be back here like this and you can't balance. Okay, ready? Heel to toe, shift forward. Heel to toe, shift forward. Hang on to that chair if you need to. Shift forward, heel to toe, shift forward, heel to toe, and stop. All right, let's take it to the back, arms out to the side, toe to heel, shift back, toe to heel, shift back, toe to heel, shift back, toe to heel, shift back. All right, now we're going to march three times and then lift one leg and hold count of three. In place first. And you can do this, hand on chair, modification demo. One, two, three, lift, hold, two, 
reach for the chair, side and cross, side and cross. All right, so you can do this behind the chair with both hands, ready, side and cross, and side and cross, side and cross, and side and cross. All right, those of you that want to try it in front without the use of the chair, here we go. Tight rope arms. Side and cross, side and cross, side and cross. Bring it back to center. Other side. Side and cross. Pretty good. Pull the stomach in and side and cross and center. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Ready, side and cross, side and cross, side and cross, and center. Other leg, side and cross, side and cross, side, cross, and center. All right, now stand in front of the chair. We're going to do our stand and sit. All right, so we are going to go to the left. One, two, three, four. Sit and stand. You can use your hands on the sit and stand or not. To the right. One. Two, three, four. Sit and stand. To the left. One, two, three, four. Sit and stand. And to the right. One, two, three, four. Sit and stand. All right, we're going to go for 10 sit and stands. Do only as many as you can. Only you know if your knees are going to take it, whatever. If you need to put your hands on that chair or boost off with the hands on the thighs, go ahead. The rest of us are going to sit and stand here if we can. Ready, and one. And stand. Two. Stand. Three. Four. Five. Get your balance. Use your hands if you need to. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, and uh, let me warn you, when you are watching television, I know it's so tempting and it feels so good to do one of these. <laughs> Okay, what that does is pull all of your side out, um, places undue stress on one arm and the knees. So that then when you go to sit and stand, you're practically immobile. So you want to, if you are watching TV, I, I don't do it. I mean, of course I do that every single night <laughs> because it feels good, <laughs> but it's not good for you. So either sit this way or with the feet elevated. That is the best way not to prevent all of the strain in here, the hip area, you know. 
So I did buy a sofa with a very short seat so that I could not comfortably get my body up. <laughs> so that is helping. <laughs> and uh, the other thing you want to watch for when you are on a sofa is your neck. If you are like this on the sofa, and you've got a pillow behind the neck that is pressing the neck forward, not good, not good at all. All of that stuff eventually affects your balance because the nerves get pinched in certain ways, and then when you try to stand and do something where you need balance, you're off balance because your nerves have said, ooh, you've injured me. So um, be careful about what you do watching TV. All right, we are at class end, so we're going to stand. Lift, shift the weight to one side, lift and down. Shift the weight to the other side, lift and down. And that's class. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Um, virtual viewers, uh, I will be back tomorrow, 9 a.m. for flexibility and 10 a.m. cardio. So do join in and have a wonderful rest of the day.